So the Wamakim, first and foremost, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Arahak Wadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles, a great millstone. Shalom to the sincere brethren out there pushing this word and you sincere listeners. Want to go into a quick lesson and the title of it is going to be, He shall come to the astonishment of them that dwell upon the earth. And the reason why I want to go into this lesson is, you know, you can see, you know, what's going on on the world stage. You know, pretty much Esau Edom, you know, is getting ready to establish his new world order. You know, so he's putting all the pieces in place, you know, to get ready to roll this thing out. You know, and a lot of people are getting uh, dismayed. You know, the people that aren't in the truth, you know, these people that, you know, follow what the elites have been doing, you know, have been following their plans, you know, have been keeping, uh, uh, you know, pretty much up to pace with it, you know, and would, would think or they thought, you know, that, you know, people would uh, resist, you know, uh, the elites plans, you know, but these people aren't resisting. Pretty much they're going to bow down, you know, to this system that the elites are going to uh, put into play and the future that these people see is completely bleak you know it's going to be a, a dystopian world you know the elites are going to have their for all their forms of control put into play and you know pretty much nobody's going to do anything uh, to stop it or nobody can do anything to stop it but see what these people you know that they're, they're not able to take this into account you know the fact that you know, Yahweh Shai is going to come back and Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to intervene in what's going on down here. Okay. These people, that, that's the furthest thing from their mind, man. All right. They literally have no clue as to what's going on. And nobody would even consider that the Most High, you know, the Creator would, would do something about what's going on, man. Okay. Like everybody's just going to bow down, you know, to uh, this system that Esau Edom is getting ready to implement. You know, and the number one thing that that pretty much nobody is, you know, taking into account is the Israelites, the truth. You know, the individuals that go out on the highways and hedges, you know, and preach this word. You know, we do the, the, the lessons throughout the week. Nobody's paying attention to, you know, what we're saying. You know, people aren't paying attention to, well, the people that are listening, you know, they're part of the hopeful elect. But I'm saying the masses, you know. They're not even looking towards this way. But this is where the change is going to come from. The change is going to come from the truth. All right. And we're prophesying about the intervention that's getting ready to take place down here. The intervention of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which is going to consist of the Heavenly Father raising up uh, certain individuals with spiritual power. Okay. The return of our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai with the angels. All right. This is uh, 2nd Ezra 13. And 29 It says behold the days come when the most high Will begin to deliver them That are upon the earth and the them that it's talking about Are the elect of the nation of Israel Which these people don't know That this, this thing is getting ready to go down Alright That the most high is going to intervene In affairs that's uh, uh, You know that are playing out down here upon the earth And he's going to Deliver certain individuals From down here Alright it says, Behold, the days come when the Most High will begin to deliver them that are upon the earth, and he shall come to the astonishment of them that dwell on the earth. And why are these people going to be astonished? Because this is the last thing that they're, you know, uh, uh, thinking about, man. You know, even these Christians, they believe, you know, they'll read the scriptures, but they're not really, you know, looking at, you know, or even looking forward to the return of of our lord and savior man they, they really don't have any idea what that really entails man you know when yahweh shai makes his uh second return they, they don't really understand what that what that all means and they're not looking forward to that you know they don't think that you know yahweh shai is going to come during the establishment of of esau you know uh locking down his new world order okay that's the furthest thing from their mind man you look at you know these people's faces especially these people that's in the know you know, to actually know what's going on behind the scenes, okay? And what this whole ordeal that we're going through is all about. They don't know, they they are not considering 
Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Nor are they considering what the Israelites are saying. You know, and pretty much, you know, we gonna go from, you know, being on the bottom. All right, nobody looking at us, nobody paying attention to this word being exalted. Okay, this word being, you know, the 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 foremost thing that's gonna be talked about down here, man. All right, because what are we prophesying about? We're prophesying about the return of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. We're prophesying about the intervention, okay, that's gonna come from our power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, the creator of the heavens and the earth, man. Okay, and this is gonna happen. This is Matthew 24 and 27. It says, For as the lightning cometh out of the east and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. And that's what we're prophesying about, man. We're heralding in the return of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah HaMashiach. We're the only ones speaking about this, you know. Nobody else is talking about this. The thing that these other people are focused on is, okay, look, see, they're doing this. They're getting ready to roll out, you know, uh, uh, these passports, you know, the jab passports, you know, or they're going to ramp up uh, uh, contact tracing. They want to uh, institute, you know, uh, uh, digital currency. You know, when the closer and closer we get to these things, these people are beginning to bug out more and more, man. Okay. But see, us, us here, you know, that are in the know, we have stable minds because we know what's getting ready to go down. We know how everything's going to play out, man. Okay, this ain't the end all, be it all. Esau ain't just going to be able to, you know, establish this system and then nothing's going to happen, man. This is just how it's going to be until somebody stronger rises up down here on the earth and then the uh, empire comes in and conquers it. You know, we know and understand that Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is getting ready to take this man out. Okay, this this whole plan that he has. And that he's going to try to set up is going to be smashed by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And we're the only ones talking about this, man. Okay, we're the only ones that are prepared for the return of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. We're the only ones that are uh, prepared, okay, and expecting divine intervention to take place down here upon the earth, man. All right. Verse 28, it says, For wheresoever the carcass is, there will the angels be gathered together which the carcass represent the bodies of the elect. All right. It says, for wheresoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. The eagles are talking about the chariots, which you people are going to see these things, man. Okay. And everybody's going to bug out when they see these. Okay. Let's get a quick precept. When they see the return of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, these people going to bug out, man. And nobody is expecting this to happen. Okay, the last thing these people are expecting to go down is the return of a so-called black man sitting on top of a chariot, man. Okay. And to destroy the current uh, 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 system of power uh, that's set up. This is Revelation 1 and 7. It says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. So everybody's going to see the return of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, man. It's going to be undeniable, okay, that this event is happening. It says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they all, they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him. Even so, let it be true. Okay, everybody's going to see this, man. They're going to bug the hell out, okay, because these people are not expecting this to go down. These people are not expecting divine intervention to take place down here, man, okay? Imagine these people's reaction when Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai raises up uh, individuals with that spiritual power, man. Okay. You gonna have these, you know, if the, the internet is still around, you know, uh, during that time, you gonna have, uh, you know, these these people making videos about it, man. It's gonna be a bunch of news articles that, that come out, you know, oh, this, this happened, you know, this happened. And then you gonna have these people speaking about it, bugging out, man. You know, wondering what the hell is going on. So this is uh, back in Matthew. 24. And 28, it says, for wheresoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. Verse 29, immediately after the tribulation of those days, shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars uh, shall fall from heaven and the powers of the heaven shall be shaken. Okay, these different uh, rulers that are set up, okay, these different kingdoms, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai is going to destroy them via the thermal nuclear missiles. The main kingdom that's going to be destroyed is Babylon the Great. All right. 
It says, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken and there shall be seen the sign of the son of man in heaven. So Yahweh Shai is going to come from the uh, uh, outer space, man. You're going to see him in the sky, sitting on top of a chariot with the rest of the angels with him. All right. And this is the last thing that these people are thinking about. Ain't nobody, nobody's thinking about this. You know, this ain't on anybody's mind except for the men in the truth, the individuals in the truth. All right. <clears throat> and even to these other people out here, the, the things that we're saying is, is, is far fetched to these people, man. You know, they'll say, oh, you got to take up arms and try to take this man out. You know, you, you have to physically resist against, uh, uh, you know, the new world order. OK, but we know we don't have to do that. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai is going to intervene. OK. It says, and then shall appear the sign of the son of man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the son of man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And these people are going to bug out at the angelic body that Yahweh Shai has, man. OK, they're going to feel that power coming off of the body, man. OK, they're going to see the glow and they're going to bug the hell out. It says he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of the heaven even to the other okay so the angels they're going to gather the elect from the four winds of the heaven and they're going to bring them to yahweh shai man okay but this is the intervention that's getting ready to take place down here upon the earth the whole time you people been going on about your day going on about your lives yahweh bashim yahweh shai the creator of the heavens and the earth the power of Israel, okay? He's been watching and paying attention to everything that's been going on down here, man. Okay, and he's at a point to where he's completely fed up with what's going on, and he's getting ready to, to act, man. Unbeknownst to you people down here, okay? You looking at Esau, Edom, the elites, you know, or, or the, the, the World Economic Forum, like, like you know, they, they, they're the ones that have the last uh, say-so down here upon the earth. Like, they dictate you know uh, uh, what goes on, all right? And we're telling you people that that's not true. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, he's the one that dictates what goes on down here, okay? He's the one that's in control of what goes on down here, okay? And he's getting ready to make a, an appearance, man. All right, he's getting ready to let the whole world know that he is the one that is in control of the affairs that happen down here, man. And you gotta respect his words and his ways, all right? This is Wisdom of Solomon 6 and 1. It says, Hear therefore, O ye kings, and understand. Learn ye that be judges of the ends of the earth. Give ear ye that rule the people, and glory in the multitude of nations. Which this is talking about the elites. You are the ones that's in the power seat. Okay? You Rothschilds, you Rockefellers, you DuPonts, you Gettys. All right? The Rockefellers, the Oppenheimers, the Vanderbilts. Okay? And the list goes on, man. You are the ones that are in the power seat. All right? You supposed to be hearkening unto the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, but we know you're the devil and you ain't gonna do that. So guess what? Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is getting ready to visit you, man. And this whole little plan that you got, it's gonna come to naught. All right. It says, Give ear, ye that rule the people, and glory in the multitude of nations, for power is given you of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and sovereignty from the highest. That word sovereignty goes into judicial authority, man. Which is the reason why they get away with what they're doing. They control the courts, you know, they control the police department, they control the armies. So who's going to hold these people accountable? All right. The only entity that's going to do that, that has the power to do that is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And he's getting ready to come back, man. See, and this, this is knowledge that these people in the world do not have, man. Okay. They don't know that there's a, a, a judge of judges, man. They don't know that there's a king of kings, a god of gods, man. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. They're completely ignorant to this fact. All right. It says, For power is given you of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, and sovereignty from the highest, who shall try your works and search out your counsels. And the Most High has done that. He's tried your works, man. Look at what this nigga's getting ready to implement. Okay. This, this, is, this is what happens, you know, when the Most High lets Esau Edom rule the world. Nothing but wickedness, man. Okay, he's getting ready to rob the entire earth of all their possessions, you know. Well, by 2030, he says, you're going to have, uh, you're not going to own anything and you're going to love it. You know, he wants to put the whole world in perpetual slavery, man. He wants to steal your land, steal your possessions, which that's against the law. The scriptures tell you thou shall not steal, man. 
Okay, so the Most High is trying out your works. Okay, he's weighed you in the balance, man. You've been found wicked. Okay, you 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 refuse to establish the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. So the Most High got to take you out, man. And this is going to happen. It says, uh, for power is given you of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, and sovereignty from the highest, who shall try your works and search out your counsels. Okay, what is your counsels? Your intention behind the things that you do, man. And your intention is, is nothing but wickedness. Okay, you ain't trying to help people out. You know, he got this uh, uh, these different climate action plans. You know, he, he says he wants to save the environment. But he just wants to put hell on you people, man. He wants to have all the resources for himself so he can utilize them however he wants to. And you people can't use anything, man. You just down and out. All right. You, you can't use his resources. Verse four says, because being ministers of his kingdom and whose kingdom is this? This is the kingdom of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right. The scriptures tell you that the most high is king over all the earth. The most high allowed you to be in the power seat, man. All right. He set you up as a steward over his kingdom. So if you are a steward over somebody else's property, you have to, uh, uh, you know, conduct yourself according to the rules that that individual set up, man. And you Edomites, you ain't did that. You elites, you haven't done that, man. All right. So what's going to happen to you? You're going to get removed. All right. It says, because being ministers of his kingdom, you have not judged the right, nor kept the law, nor walked after the counsel of the Most High. You've been walking after the counsel of Satan. And the Most High have been seeing this since you came into power. Okay, going all the way back to the, the 1400s, early 1300s. All right. You've been doing nothing but wickedness, man. Okay, and now we reached the, the, the end point for you. The Most High getting ready to take you out. All this wickedness that's going on is getting ready to cease to exist, man. The Most High going to put a stop to this madness that's going on down here. Okay. And we, we pretty much the only people that know that. The rest of these people, they lost in La La Land, man. They have no clue as to what's going on. They have no clue as to what's getting ready to take place down here upon the earth. All right. It says, you have not judged the right, nor kept the law, nor walked after the counsel of the Most High. Horribly and speedily shall he come upon you, for a sharp judgment shall be to them that be in high places. You elites, man. You ones that are in a power seat, sharp judgment is getting ready to come to you. This whole system that you establish, these different countries that you reign over, the Most High is going to destroy them. All right. The Most High is going to wipe your, your uh, country off the map. All right. Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America. The Most High is going to destroy that place. The armies of America is going to be completely wiped out. The armies of Israel and the rest of these nations are going to be completely wiped out, man. And Yahweh Shai is going to come back and put the whole earth in subjection and uh, set the nation of Israel in the, uh, their rightful place, man. It says, for mercy will soon pardon the meanest, which the meanest represents the nation of Israel. Okay, the poor and destitute, the afflicted. All right. We're going to get pardoned, man. All right. It says, for mercy will soon pardon the meanest, but mighty men shall be mightily tormented. So you elites, you're going to get tormented, man. All right. After you get taken out of your uh, rulership seat, the Most High is going to establish a nation of Israel, and we're going to put you in slavery, man. And you know this is going to happen. That's the reason why you're trying to speed this thing along, man. That's the reason why you had to, you know, uh, uh, have this pandemic go on, man, just to speed up your plans. Okay? But this is all going to come to naught. This is uh, Sirach 10 and 4. It says, The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And in due time, he will set over it one that is profitable. And who are the ones that are profitable? The nation of Israel. Okay. We're going to clean this place up. We're going we're gonna to do away with the wicked. And we're going to establish righteous policies throughout the four corners of the earth. All right. This will be the last scripture. We're going to wrap it up on this. And nobody's expecting this to happen, man. All right. What, you, what these people should be paying attention to is the nation of israel the israelites the prophets you know but it's not time for the word of yahweh yahweh shai to be exalted yet you know the most high is going to do that in due time you know and another thing the scriptures tell you that the day of the lord shall come as a thief in the night so these people ain't going to pay attention you know they're not going to focus on the nation of israel until it's time for the nation of israel to be exalted you know but these people are completely bugged out out here man 
you know they literally have no clue as to what's going on you know and then looking at you know the things play out down here upon the earth you know they they see the elites fulfilling their plan and, and ruling forever man but see we know that that's not the case this is uh isaiah 26 and i'll start at 20. it says come my people enter thou into thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee hide thyself as it were for a little moment while the indignation be overpassed see and the indignation of yahweh bashim yahweh shai is going uh you know rain down here upon the earth man the most high is going to pour out his fierce wrath upon the earth okay all the wicked are going to be destroyed man the most high is going to judge the, the whole earth <clears throat> it says for behold the lord yahweh bashim yahweh shai cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity okay and that's what these people do not understand man they don't understand that there's a creator they don't understand that there's a certain way you're supposed to be living down here upon the earth man okay and even you people that are against the elites you know you you really just against their new world order plan man all right you you want to live your life however you want to live it you don't want to follow after yahweh so you're going to get caught up in the destruction okay the only problem you got with the elites is that they're trying to impose their will on you they want to take all your possessions they want to make you a slave okay but if if they weren't in the positions that they were in okay and they allow you people to live uh, uh you know the wicked lifestyle that you so used to you wouldn't have a problem with it man all right but see us here we got a problem with all the wickedness that's going on down here man not just the plans of the elites okay we got a problem with the way you people conduct yourself we want the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to be established down here upon the earth, throughout the four corners of the earth, man. Okay? And that's what separates us from the, the rest of these people out here. And that's why the Most High is going to jack you people up. Okay? Because you don't, you don't want righteousness to be established. It says, For behold, the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain so that's get, what's getting ready to happen man okay divine intervention is getting ready to take place down here upon the earth okay these people have no clue as to what's getting ready to go on okay they so focused on what the elites have going on you're supposed to be focused on what you how about shimmy how is doing man okay see but it's not given to you to know that all right you're gonna see it when it goes down all right and so with that i'm gonna give all praises to yahweh baha shimmy how is shy baha shimmy double honors to the elders and apostles at great millstone shallow